Guys, so I'm currently in the prog um, progress of building my robot. I'm gonna add a roller spinner on the robot, and I have a dilemma. So we are, I already used all eight motors: one, two, three, four for the chassis, and then two for the flywheel, and one for the intake, and another one for this conveyor belt. So let me just show you guys right now. I have this thing set up to the the conveyor belt. Won't be able to shoot this right now because it's both set up to this. And I'll explain that a little bit later. But just a quick update on the intake. I mean, on the flywheel. This is how fast the flywheel goes. So I have two green motors right here. I don't know how the blue motor 600 RPM one. I think it's just 200 RPM. So like a 18 to one. So these are both the green ones. And that's why I need two for extra power, extra torque. So this second one right here adds extra torque and powers that motor. So that right here is a one to one. And over here, I don't even remember. It's probably like an 18 to one. You can count that right there. Boom, boom. And then there's the flywheel itself. So this is how fast it goes. It goes very fast. As you can see there is a little, I like that little screw piece. It really just indicates how fast it's spinning. So, everything else is done. The the tank drive is done as well. Everything's done. Yeah. The only problem is the intaking me mechanism. So, it's very crappy. It does work. It works decent, decently well. The floating intake. Thing. It works decently well. And... I wasn't able to add one of those things to score the rollers. I don't know what it's called. But it's right here. It's going to be somewhere right here, right? So this is my idea that I have so far. So seeing as I have to motor share now, since I have literally no motors, this conveyor belt is just ruining everything because, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to add it like this. Maybe add another one here. But for now, I'm going to just keep the conveyor belt because like, it's useful because it's it can perfectly time your, your shots with the thing. Like, there you go, boom. I would have timed it right there and shot it. So I'm going to just leave it because we don't have pre-nomatics. Once we get pre-nomatics, I can probably have another... I could probably remove a motor, and I can probably add its own roller intake over here for the the, the rollers in the spin-up game. So. so this is my idea. And I think the torque is too high on this, but... Okay, since... I've seen a lot of videos. There's like screws that prevent the rollers from being spun easily. So I don't know if anybody has ever done this. You guys probably have. But obviously a lot of teams have started a motor share because of the new spin-up game. I mean because of the new V5 system. So as you can see right here, this is my motor sharing. So you can see these thingies right here. They're very useful in indicating how fast it, an object is spinning or a gear is spinning instead of having to like mark it like that i think like you can use these very well these little levers to help you to help indicate so as you can see this is a one to one it's just regular it's just the green motor the shaft and this is what this one is the intake roller is a is just a one to one a normal green motor all right so my idea is to have this green motor just this shaft with motor sharing, of course, just the shaft right here is a green one to one motor. And look, it's the same speed as one like this, you know. It's going to be there. And this is a green one. So I had another idea that I would use the red motor for extra torque. But I found that I can just add torque to here instead. And I was like... Oh, man, I should just use the red one because it's going to power two systems, right? This is the red motor. And the thing is that this is like the only gear that works to make it go the same speed. Or else the main shaft is going to lose speed itself. So when I have a shaft right here, let's just say it's the red motor, right? It goes way, it goes way slower than the green motor. So when I have a gear right here and in another gear, let's say I have a bigger gear, right? 
to gear it down, to gear it up to like, to make it go faster, right? Because it's gonna slow, right? This is like the only output I can do. It's gonna go too fast. There is, it's gonna go too fast. It's gonna go faster than this. This one right here. It's gonna go faster than this one. And that's not gonna be good because this one also has to have torque. The intake has to have torque to push up the the in the discs up because sometimes they would get stuck and then, like this whole thing would stop working, you know. So I don't know if it's gonna be a motor problem. Motor sharing, I haven't tried it out yet, but this is just the concept. So as you can see, this is gonna be an extended shaft over here. So the the I'm gonna, I'm gonna add another bar right here. It's gonna be two bars. And then it's just gonna be the regular gear. The gray gear is gonna be this one, and then the red gear is gonna be like up on top of here. And then and then that shaft it's in this shaft is gonna probably be this size, right? And then this shaft is gonna extend all the way over here to this side. Like it's gonna be this shaft's gonna go up a little bit, right? Because that's gonna be where the red gear is at to add that extra torque. And since the rollers are very hard to spin on the Vex spin-up game, as I as I've seen from many field tests so far and matches. You know, you're not going to be able to use, like, a regular motor. You may be, may, able, may be able to use a regular motor, but I need to share motors because I have none left. So, it's going to be an intake and an intake roller spinner as well at the same time because, you know, I need to have something there. So, it's going to go all the way here. And then, it's going to have to be, like, somewhere over here. So, I'm going to just add some chains. And then, it's going to be, like, um, let's say, right here. The whole connection is going to be like right here. So at the end, it's going to be a giant frame. And then this wheel is going to spin it. It's going to be like right here somewhere. I think, I think, just saying, I don't know the official measurements of like where the rollers are at. It's like somewhere here, right? Somewhere here. And then this, this, this is probably pr pretty much tethered to this. And it's going to have high torque. And at the same time, with our dual motor sharing, this one's going to have regular torque. It's going to have no torque at all. It's going to be like regular. So then you can see the speed of it. Because I forgot to mention, this also has to go fast. Intakes have to go fast in order to suck up the discs. But they can't be too fast or else it's not going to have enough torque. So the best gear ratio for a intake, any regular intake that I found out so far, is just a regular intake speed, you know. I also don't have the blue motor, so I can't really test that. So the regular intake speed is just going to be just a regular green motor. But for the little rollers on the on the Vex field, we're gonna want to have a higher torque, and then that's where this motor sharing mechanism comes in. Where I'm gonna have the shaft set up right there, and then this is gonna be a regular, and then it's gonna be high torque. All right, I'm gonna show you guys probably like after a couple of days after I get everything done. I'll show you guys what I came up with and if it actually works or not. But this is just a design concept. I don't really want to like build it that much. I just want to see and test if it would work on here before actually doing anything. Like I want to see, I want to like visualize what I'm going to do. And this is just a little mock-up I made. And it's very hard as well. It's very tight. You can't spin that, any, but you can easily spin that. But here, you cannot. And that just shows the power. And levels of torque that it has and I honestly don't know if anybody else has done this because I don't really look at other people's stuff that much I kind of just made this on my own I don't really even know what I'm doing at this point so that's why I'm posting it if you guys agree with what I'm saying that you know motor sharing but different gear differentials you know I think I've seen videos of people using different gear differentials like they they would use two a two motor drive now they would use a four motor drive and then the four motor drive would power another system and then they would just switch on and off with pre-pneumatics.